Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on April 13th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do. Thank you so much for watching tonight and checking out what's going on with our world and our sun today. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the past 48 hours. Still nothing major to report. Looks like a pretty strong C-class solar flare from Earth-facing northern region sunspot. In the last few images there, other than that, not too much to report since yesterday's update. But we do have updated CME models to show you. Having a look here at the last 48 hours incoming, we do have some active regions turning in. And as well, where we've got multiple sunspots on the other side that will be coming around. This is the last 48 hours outgoing plasma filaments swirling around the surface of the southern hemisphere of our sun. Multi-spectrum here pointing out the last 48 hours of events. Some activity on the backside. Cresting into view. And as well notable there with that earth-facing sunspot. And coronal holes. Minor southern hemisphere coronal hole departing and equatorial coronal hole developing for an Earth-facing event. Having a look at 171 angstroms here, this is where we can see our heliosphere in action. Just amazing imagery brought to you by Solar Dynamics Observatory. Having a look at seven sunspot regions on our sun right now. Have a look here at those in motion and their complexity. When you get blue is and the reds in the sunspot region, that's when you're most likely to get some flare activity. Having a look at current space weather conditions, we are under R1. Minor radio blockout impacts are expected. High frequency radio communications. Solar winds are coming in at 338 kilometers per second right now. Solar X-ray flux. They haven't updated since last night here, only showing... Strong M-class and C-class, just like last night. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same um, solar influx model. KP index is low. But now the CME models have been updated. Space Weather Prediction Center here showing a couple new CMEs. Expected arrival 14th into the 15th of April. Geomagnetic storm expected here from coronal mass ejections. Multiple. About three of them. Little green circle is Earth. Heads up 14th into the 15th for the geomagnetic instability. Having a look at ISWA space prediction spiral showing the most recent CME taking off from our sun. And that is from the sunspot regions turning in. Lasco 2 showing the last 48 hours of cosmic energies leaving our sun. No major CMEs to report just yet. Some amazing images from Soho. Hope you enjoy all of this information shared. Please don't forget to give a big old thumbs up. Get in the comments section. Let me know where you're watching from. Now let's get to earthquakes the past 24 hours as we had a pretty rare earthquake here to report 4.7 in the North Pacific Ocean. That's right, the North Hawaiian Islands chain, old dormant chain of volcanoes, 4.7 earthquake there, as well as 4.1 here in Sitka, Alaska, 4.4 here, Kurilsk, Russia, 65 kilometer depth, as well, North Pole region, Svalbard, 4.7 earthquake reported there. Still quiet across North American plate. Largest being the 3.8. Brego Springs, California. Still on watch all along the coast there. Increasing seismicity continues to roll. And it's coming in waves. Below average and then above average. And vice versa. Greece reporting a 4.2 and a 4.3 today. Quiet South America. Indian plate, those are both from early today, so 5.5, the largest, the last 24 hours. Notable earthquakes here, southeast Indian Ridge, southwest of Australia, 
and as well Western Indian Antarctic Ridge with a 5.1. Deepest earthquakes past 24 hours, 502 kilometer depth, and as well 499, both in the Tonga region. And activity throughout Indonesia and the Philippines continues straight up to Taiwan aftershocks. Much love, everybody, and please, if you are in an earthquake-prone zone, have a go bag, have a plan, and be ready for anything. That's what this channel is all about, keeping humanity aware, prepared to the daily movement and ever-changing planet. Heads up, straight cascades up into Alaska. That rare earthquake in the North Pacific Ocean has got me reeling and wondering what's going on. Largest earthquake this week, 6.4, Indonesia. And that's the last seven days for shakers around the globe. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the channel. Now let's have a look at our sulfur dioxide emissions forecast here. Brought to you by our 45 erupting volcanoes. No new changes across the North Atlantic, North Pacific Overlooking Europe, Russia. Quite a big eruption at Mount Etna as it has been puffing smoke rings for the past week or two. Couple new fissures opening up. South Africa, Australia, Indonesia. Notable there, SO2 content coming out of Aoba Volcano. Yes, sir. And then overlooking here, South America and the Southern Hemisphere, South Sandwich Islands region where the Michael Volcano has been erupting for the past week and a half, releasing tons of SO2 into our atmosphere as I've been monitoring all week long. Now let's get to weather here, brought to you by windy.com, showing the next five to seven day forecast Big system here affecting eastern Canada, bringing snow to eastern Quebec. Possible widespread showers tomorrow through Ontario. 15th into the 16th, big system here developing central United States. And then watch that smash into a cold high pressure ridge that will bring snow across the Canadian prairies. Then watch that high pressure ridge slip down into the United States creating an extreme weather event for the Gulf states long range. Very interesting and peculiar weather patterns right now, especially with that big, high, cold, high-pressure blockade sweeping far south. Overlooking Europe, multiple systems affecting you this week. One of them coming right out of Greenland, wrapped up with tons of SO2. Watch through the Mediterranean Daily evaporation rains. Southeast Asia, no major systems here developing. Long range forecast could see a typhoon developing for Japan. Overlooking South Africa and Australia. Still lots of daily evaporation rain and thunderstorms forecast for Eastern Africa. Equatorial regions through the Congo. And as well, long-range forecast, possible cyclone here developing for Australia, Northern Territory. And now we're looking at the North Pacific here, forecast models for the West Coast, BC, United States. Got some systems moving in, then High Pressure Ridge moves in. And then it won't be until the 19th or until the 20th, you'll see your next big system. I wanted to share here with you our upper level winds. This is looking at the Southern Hemisphere polar vortex as things are setting up for winter in the South Pole. Quick difference between the North Pole and our South Pole right now as things have flip flop from what we've seen over the past few months through the winter months in Canada. Also wanted to share here with you the Winds that are moving in the opposite direction they were last year at this time. These are upper level winds 
10,000 feet and higher. So, here is last year. As you can see, equatorial winds are moving westward. And this is this year, as they are moving in the opposite direction. Big changes on our planet right now, and I want to thank you all for joining this journey, subscribing to the channel, and thank you so much for the support and memberships. It really helps continue and further my research here. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.